Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rossmas key skill video on writing a mixed number as an improper fraction. Now this is known as a mixed number because we've got a whole part here and we've got a fractional part. So you've got a mixture of a whole number and a fraction and, and for that we call it a mixed number. And the way we would say it is as three and a half. So we might three and a half cakes, that's having three cakes and an extra half a cake. But we want to convert it to an improper fraction. And what an improper fraction is, is just a single fraction without any number in front of it, where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Numerator is larger than denominator. Now I'm going to first do this visually, and hopefully you'll see how we can convert this to an improper fraction. So we've got three and a half, say, pizzas. So if I draw three and a half pizzas, that's one whole pizza, two whole pizzas, three whole pizzas, and an extra half a pizza. So if I split that in half, I just want that half a pizza. Now let's suppose all these full pizzas I was to split into half. So let's split that in half, let's split that in half, and let's split that in half. Now how many half pizzas do we have in total? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven halves of a pizza. So we can see, therefore, that three and a half is the same as seven over two. Now, can we think of a quick way of converting this mixed number to this improper fraction without having to draw out diagrams each time? Well, let's consider how many halves we had in these full pizzas. Well, we had three full pizzas, because that whole part is three, and each is split into two. So we therefore did three times two to get these six pieces here. So we did that three multiplied by that two. And then we had an extra one pizza pizza. So we added on that extra one half here. So we therefore add that one up here. So let's use that technique to answer this question here. All we need to do is we need to multiply the four by the five and then add the three. And that gives us the numerator of your improper fraction. So four times five is 20. And when you add three, that's 23. So this is equal to 23 over. And then did you notice that the denominator stayed the same, didn't it? So we keep that denominator five so we get 23 over 5. And just one more example, if we had 7 and a quarter, then we keep the denominator as it is, the 4 at the bottom. But to get the numerator, we do 7 times 4. 7 times 4 is 28, plus the 1 is 29.